Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the karma reading for the zodiac sign of Libra for the month of May year 2024. I just want to say thank you to all my viewers, my watchers, all my subscribers. You guys are so loving and loyal. I'm sending you guys so much love and appreciation back for always rocking with your girl and coming back time and time again to watch my channel and my readings. You guys are phenomenal and I appreciate each and every one of you. These karma readings are about healing, you know, pray that these people get it right with God, pray for their healing, continue to pray for yourself, continue to go forward, just know forgiving these people is important, however, it does not excuse these people for doing you wrong, okay, vengeance is the Lord's, you guys go forward and be the best people that you can be, always go to God for everything, every day at all times, and check in with your spiritual teams and families. Don't take anything that doesn't resonate unless you choose to, you know, take readings as it resonates for you as you choose, basically. I'm going to do the karma reading a little bit differently. I'm going to use the 12 um, zodiac signs. I don't usually do this, but we'll see how it goes. And then I will close out your reading with a message from the Love and Light deck by Doreen Virtue, who I love. I love this deck because it's all about Bible scriptures and it has the most beautiful messages and pictures. Let's jump into your karma reading, Libra. So the overall energy is their life will change drastically for the worst for what they did to you. Yeah, for all the people that wronged you, it's going to be hard for them to get ahead and be successful and have peace at the same time. They are going to suffer. A lot of them, they're already in this suffering transition. They're getting a lot of life um, harsh lessons, harsh consequences, changes that they don't want, but, um, they put you through it. So I'm hearing they put you through the ringer. So it is now their turn and it's going to be mega major drastic in a way that they never thought would come and that they didn't see it coming, but it is here and there's nothing they can do about it. They're going to have to deal. I'm hearing um, sink or swim. Wow. For the Aries who betrayed you, they need spiritual cleansing. You may have told them to start taking spiritual showers, get some crystals, take some spiritual baths, go see a shaman. They need to go get baptized with a priest. They need to cleanse their soul and their life inside and out. They need to go to God and repent. They need to clear your name. They need to confess some things. They need to, to really purge themselves and truly give God the glory that he deserves and to do right by you. And uh, if you guys have kids and family members, they owe you is what I'm hearing. They need to go to a pastor or priest. They need to truly cleanse and they need to meet it from the heart and soul space. They need to cleanse their homes as well. They need to get their soul right. For the Taurus who betrayed you, they built a life with their enemy. So, you know, it, it's sad when, and I, and I, I know heartbreak is not fun for those who are dealing with this from a romantic place. It's not easy when the one you want so bad is so eager and willing to just jump ship and leave. And then they downgrade to trash and their whole life is like, you know, it's a tragedy. So, yeah, they have to deal with it. They build a life with their enemy. They build a life with somebody who doesn't care about them, who's not going to be there for them when they need them the most. They build a life with their karma their karmic and it's going to be painful it's going to be a heck of a ride and it's not going to be fun so it's like that laugh now cry later notion is what i'm hearing for the gemini who disrespected you you just got fed up with this person you got tired of them being a disappointment and you're tired of being an energy where they never stand up for you they never live up to their word they're just a disappointment and you you got tired of being disappointed by this person over and over again you had enough when it comes to this cancer they cheated on you if this was romantically speaking and now they are being cheated on for those of you who this was not romantic like this was a friend or so-called friend turned enemy or this was a family member or something they may have coerced and um, motivated people to cheat 
on you and do you wrong or do evil things against you or even some of their friends was like oh you don't need to be with him you don't need to be with her you know continue to be a dog in these streets and unfortunately this person was easily swayed and they cheated and then they got out here and they found out that what goes around really does come back around and i'm hearing they got their heart broke or will be breaking i'm hearing shattering into a lot of pieces i'm hearing a million pieces for those of you guys who are dealing with uh, Leo, this Leo is struggling to find themselves, especially now that you're gone, that sunshine, that sunlight is gone, and now they are forced to reap what they have sown. They're sitting with themselves alone. I'm hearing depressed, heartbroken. They're down and out at this time. They're struggling to find themselves. They don't know who they are because they live vicariously through you. They live vicariously through who you are instead of finding themselves. And you may have told them like, go find your own interest. You know, you may have started to notice that they probably couldn't even order food without copying what you were doing, or they couldn't make life decisions that should have been easy. It's like this person, you know, they're real. I'm hearing vanilla. And I mean, and I mean that in a sense where they don't have much of a personality. They steal energy from other people instead of going find out, who they are, what they like, what do they truly desire, what do they really want, what their goals are. They were just thriving and um, stealing off your energy. That's just sad. For those of you guys who were dealing with a Virgo, you feel like the situation is beyond repair. You feel like there's no going back. It's over. Whatever they did was the straw that broke the camel's back. It was just one too many or that last time it was such a big you know, thing that they did wrong to you that it was just, I'm hearing irreparable, so irreparable. So you don't feel like it could be repaired. For those of you guys who were dealing with another Libra, you feel like they were mentally draining you. You are probably always the problem solver. You guys are go-getters, so you guys like to get things done. You're fixers. You like to fix problems, but you have a heart too. And you got sick and tired of your energy being drained, feeling depleted around certain people. Mentally, these people were exhausting and you had enough because they were draining your energy. You guys are feel-good people. You're A lot of you guys are extroverts. You have things to do. You have dreams and aspirations you're going after. You guys are all about success. You know, you got sick of the leeches, basically. When it comes to a Scorpio who betrayed you, they held the way that they helped you or supported you over your head. So you guys can do a thousand wonderful deeds for this person or these people. And if they do one or two things for you, it's like they make sure that they disrespect you later and then throw it in your face that they did this and that for you. And it's like they barely even did anything for you. And you know that they didn't do it from the heart because when you help somebody from the heart, you don't have to throw it in their face and mistreat them just so that they can try to get praise from that. It's just sickening and it's a lot of people struggling with mental illness. It is just become a lot of people's karma for not healing. When it comes to the Sagittarius, this person was all about their image, their looks, how they look on the outside, how they appear to people. This person could have been very self-absorbed, very arrogant when it comes to personality wise, very much in their ego. They're all about their image. They're not real. They pretend to be. You know that, so you're done with that. When it comes to a Capricorn, who did you wrong? It could be more than one. Take how it resonates. This person chose drugs over a lifestyle with you because a lifestyle with you comes with love and light and positive change and blessings. They wanted the blessings to support their habits. They were not willing to give up their toxic lifestyle of um, drinking and drugging and you know, thugging and acting a complete idiot, complete fool. So they chose um, to really um, drain their body is what I'm hearing. Somehow their body's taking major hits. Whatever kind of drugs they're using, they could be cross mixed. Um, I'm hearing mismatch with like pills or uh, prescription medication. They just will take any and everything. I'm hearing lean. Oh my God. So just a lot. A lot of drugs here and it's getting heavier because they're really getting into it. I don't know why I'm hearing the word um, psychedelic for some reason. So this person, I'm hearing LSD. Just This person is, they they going down the wrong path. And the deeper they, they go into it, the harder it is for them to get out. They need to go to God and, and heal and stop running from um, whatever trauma they need to heal from. 
for those of you guys who were wronged by an Aquarius, they may be calling you soon. They need loan money and, um, and it could be to support their toxic habits as well. This person can't keep money. Um, they make uh, poor decisions when it comes to finances as well as others. Don't give this person any money without investigating what it's for. I feel like the message really is don't give this person money, but you guys get to choose what you you want to do and who you want to help. I would say use your highest discernment and go to God. Some of these people could be putting your name down for loans, like using you as a reference. If you guys don't want to be used as a reference, make sure that when these loan people call you that you ask tons of questions. And if you don't want to be put down as a reference, ask that they leave a note. If they can't remove you, at least try to get removed if you want to be removed. But ask that they leave a note saying that you're not this person's reference. Because I feel like a lot of you guys have cut ties. You don't want to be a reference for this person because they don't spend money wisely. They don't invest in their family. They're investing in like gambling or drinking, um, the clubs, just acting like a fool. Like they put their selfish desires over the things that their children may need or over the things that you needed or the basic needs they need. They are a very selfish person and they're not good with money. They need a financial advisor. They need to sit down somewhere and get their life right. Um, so be careful who you help. When it comes to a Pisces who betrayed you, they are very afraid that you don't care anymore. And this feels like it is the complete truth. A lot of you guys are just done. You're not cold hearted. You're not selfish. You are just done. You're spent. You're over it. Um, you're not concerned about their life because you're very much in your purpose, living your own life to the best of your ability. You have to follow the path that God has for you and it's more fulfilling. There's more peace and um, you are seeing more blessings come your way and more of your wishes being granted and you deserve that. Um, people were trying to cause blockages and delays and you're done with that. To close out your reading, Libra, let's get a message from the Love and Light deck by Doreen Virtue. Make time to work, rest, and play is here. You guys may love animals. There's animals on um, this picture. Children as well. A garden as well. From the Bible, um, Psalm chapter 126, verse 2, it says, We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. Somebody may sing in a choir or you may find yourself laughing a lot or just being more playful with your kids, getting a pet, just spending some time with family. So let's read from the book so you guys get a very thorough message here. It says, children are joyful beings who love to play as an expression of their happiness. What were your favorite ways to play as a child? You can still have fun now, even while meeting your responsibilities. When you follow God's lead, your work can become your play. Laughter and lightheartedness come naturally to children, and we all need to nurture our inner child. God wills that his children experience happiness in all ways. Perhaps you or someone you know is working too hard and needs to lighten up and do something carefree and fun to gain life balance. So balance life with work, fun, play, and rest. What brings your heart joy? Ask yourself that. What's a way for you to bring more fun into your daily schedule? Laughter can be infectious. Once you start laughing, it releases a natural happy flow in your body, which will make you feel alive and full of joys of spring, full of the joys of spring. So enjoy laughter, winter, spring, summer, fall, any time is a good time. Think of a happy moment. And just laugh, okay? And fulfill your soul. Enjoy a child's laughter. Laughing with your kids. Have fun. Travel. Experience life the way you deserve. Enjoy. Find fulfillment as much as you can. Libra, this has been your karma reading for the month of May, your 2024. I hope that the messages resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all forever happiness, forever abundance, and all that good stuff. Love and light, prayers and blessings. God bless you. Bye, Libra.